Hello, and welcome. In this video, we will walk through a circuit analysis problem step by step. The goal is to use the superposition theorem to find the voltage V0, or VO, in the provided circuit diagram. Understanding the circuit and the method. First, let's look at the circuit. We have a 10 volt independent voltage source, a 2 amp independent current source, three resistors with values of 2 ohms, 1 ohm, and 4 ohms, and a dependent current source with a value of 0.5 times VO. The voltage we want to find, VO, is the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor. The superposition theorem states that the total response in a linear circuit with multiple independent sources is the sum of the responses caused by each independent source acting alone. So, we can write the equation. VO equals VO1 plus VO2. Here, VO1 is the voltage due to the 10 volt source and VO2 is the voltage due to the 2 amp source. Step 1, finding VO1, contribution from the 10V source. To find VO1, we will consider the 10 volt source and turn off all other independent sources. In this circuit, that means we turn off the 2 amp current source. Turning off a current source means replacing it with an open circuit. The resulting circuit is a single loop. It contains the 10 volt source, the 2 ohm resistor, the 1 ohm resistor, the dependent source, and the 4 ohm resistor. The voltage across the 4 ohm resistor in this new circuit is VO1. The dependent source's value is now 0.5 times VO1. Now, we will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law, or KVL, to this loop. Let's define the current flowing in the loop as I1. The solution in the image treats the dependent current source as a dependent voltage source for the KVL calculation. Following this calculation, the KVL equation is written as minus 10 plus 2 times I1 plus 1 times I1 minus 0.5 times VO1 plus 4 times I1 equals 0. Let's combine the terms with the current, I1. The 2, 1, and 4 ohm resistors are in series, so we add them up. This gives minus 10 plus 7 times I1 minus 0.5 times VO1 equals 0. We also know the relationship between VO1 and I1 from Ohm's law. VO1 is the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor. So, VO1 equals 4 times I1. Now, we substitute this expression for VO1 back into our KVL equation. Minus 10, plus 7 times I1, minus 0.5 times the quantity, for times I1, equals 0. Let's simplify this. 0.5 times 4 is 2. So the equation becomes minus 10 plus 7 times I1 minus 2 times I1 equals 0. Combining the I1 terms, 7 minus 2 is 5. So we have minus 10 plus 5 times I1 equals 0. Moving the 10 to the other side of the equation gives 5 times I1 equals 10. Dividing both sides by 5, we find that I1 equals 2 amps. Now we can calculate VO1 using the formula VO1 equals 4 times I1. VO1 equals 4 times 2, which is 8 volts. So, the contribution from the 10 volt source is 8 volts. Step 2, finding VO2, contribution from the 2A source. Next, to find VO2, we consider the 2 amp source and turn off all other independent sources. This time, we turn off the 10 volt voltage source. Turning off a voltage source means replacing it with a short circuit, which is just a wire. In the resulting circuit, the 2 amp current source is in parallel with the 2 ohm resistor. The solution performs a source transformation on this part of the circuit. A current source in parallel with a resistor can be converted to a voltage source in series with that same resistor. The voltage of the new source is V equals A times R, which is 2 amps times 2 ohms, giving us 4 volts. This 4 volt source is now in series with the 2 ohm resistor. The new circuit is a single loop containing the 4 volt source, the 2 ohm resistor, the 1 ohm resistor, the dependent source, and the 4 ohm resistor. The voltage across the 4 ohm resistor is now VO2, and the dependent source's value is 0.5 times VO2. Let's apply KVL to this new loop. We'll call the loop current I2. Again, the solution treats the dependent source as a voltage source. The KVL equation is written as minus 4 plus 3 times I2 minus 0.5 times VO2 plus 4 times I2 equals 0. 
The next line in the solution combines the terms with I2. Minus 4, plus 7 times I2, minus 0 0.5 times VO2, equals 0. Just like before, we use Ohm's law for the 4 ohm resistor, VO2 equals 4 times I2. Substitute this into the KVL equation. Minus 4, plus 7 times I2, minus 0 0.5 times the quantity, for times I2, equals 0. Simplifying the last term, 0 0.5 times 4 is 2. The equation is now. Minus 4, plus 7 times I2, minus 2 times I2, equals 0. Combining the I2 terms, we get minus 4, plus 5 times I2, equals 0. Rearranging the equation, we have 5 times I2, equals 4. Solving for I2, we find that I2 equals 4 divided by 5, or 0 0.8 amps. Now we can find VO2, which is 4 times I2. VO2 equals 4 times 4 fifths, which is 16 fifths, or 3.2 volts. So, the contribution from the 2 amp source is 3.2 volts. Step 3, finding the total voltage VO. The final step in the superposition method is to add the individual results together. VO equals VO1 plus VO2. Substituting the values we found. VO equals 8 volts plus 3.2 volts. Adding these together, we get the final answer. VO equals 11.2 volts.